And you're the one who leaves the relationship. Do you think that narcissist isn't having a major attack of ego bruising? Of course they are. Let's talk about some of the things they might do when you're the one who leaves the relationship. My name is Lise Colucci and I am here to help you understand and transform your life after you've been around narcissistic people. So when you have been the one to leave the narcissistic relationship or the narcissistic person, here's a list of things they might do. They might shift the blame onto you for all the problems in the relationship and the reason that you're so whatever that you took off. Or they might lie and say that they're the ones who left you. All right, so it depends who they're talking to and what face and what mask they need to wear and what part of their ego they need to preserve in the moment. So we know that narcissists lack accountability. That's a given. They lack accountability, which means they will not take any responsibility for anything that happened in the relationship and the reasons for the discard, which means what are they gonna do? Blame shift. Sometimes after a narcissist's ego has been bruised, they go into a meltdown and they start raging. They have an absolute narcissistic injury and the rage comes out. This can be really dangerous. If you are experiencing that, please get yourself help. Contact a crisis shelter. Contact somewhere that can help you stay safe from this toxic person. Tell your friends what's going on. Tell your family what's going on so that you are protected as best you can, okay? Let's keep going with other things they might do if you have left them. So, I mean, what's the number one thing a narcissist does in all relationships when things don't go their way? They gaslight. They gaslight. They're going to gaslight. They may even pretend it didn't happen. I have heard of a narcissistic person where this poor survivor of this narcissistic person had tried so many times to express to this narcissist that they did not want to continue a relationship with them. They tried to break up. They tried to say no. They tried the pervasive persuasiveness of this narcissistic person. So what this narcissist would do is they'd go into denial. They'd say, oh, I know we have a lot to work on. And she might say something like, um, work on what? We're not in a relationship anymore. I don't want to be with you. And they'll say, see how it is. Yes, I know. Maybe we should try counseling. So basically, it's a complete denial that anything's even going on. And then setting the narrative to make it seem like there's more to work on. One really cruel and horrible thing that people with personality disorders might do is threaten self-harm. Okay, you guys, if someone is threatening self-harm, you take it seriously. You call authorities, report them, have somebody show up and do a well check to where they live. That's it. Okay, your level of responsibility ends there. They are You are not their keeper and you are not responsible for their emotional well-being or what they choose to do because they are dysregulated. So please get them the help they need by calling someone who can go check on them, who has the skills and the know-how to take care of the situation and do not allow that guilt to affect you. Sometimes when you've left a narcissist, they'll just come back with love bombing. They will love bomb so hard and so effectively that you go right back in. Basically they hoover. And if you don't know what that is, that is when a narcissist sucks you back in to their world. Because of the narcissistic injury and because narcissists often cannot take it when there's any criticism or when somebody leaves them, because often they fear abandonment and they fear rejection, they will just start devaluing you. They will devalue you to the point where you don't matter. And then they will take that devaluing and smear you anywhere that they can. Have you experienced this? Again, you guys, let me know in the comments what you've seen if you've been the one to leave the narcissist. They might block you and then they might even block you and start calling you from unlisted numbers. They might replace you. You guys, new supply is not a narcissist being happy. It's a narcissist who can't handle being by themselves for five minutes, who needs supply so bad that they go out and find someone who does not know that they're toxic to steal the supply from. That's what it is, okay? And they do this regularly. They may go to friends, family members, anyone to triangulate, to take supply from. They may guilt trip you. If you have a narcissistic parent that you've gone no contact with or low contact with, they may be trying to guilt trip you from the outside 
by sending in other people, flying monkeys, tell you how sad your mom or dad is, to tell you that, you know, they're not doing well without you not talking. They don't understand why you're not talking to them, right? Okay, so these are just some of the things that might happen if you have been the one to walk away from a narcissist. Check out the other videos on this channel for more information about narcissists, narcissistic abuse, healing from narcissism, all that stuff, okay? And I'll see you on the next video.